Hi, I'm Tana Sen, your state representative from the 41st Legislative District. Having a place to call home, a warm bed to sleep in at night, a place to eat meals with friends and family, this is a basic human right and a fundamental need for feeling safe, secure, and having an opportunity to thrive. Unfortunately, it's all too common right now for our friends and neighbors to struggle with paying high rents or even finding housing they can afford. Our region is facing a crisis of affordable housing. The high cost of housing is forcing people to move out of their communities and farther away from jobs, schools, their families, and other opportunities, creating long commutes. And there are many people who are living in unstable situations or being pushed into homelessness. There is no one single solution to ensuring everyone has a safe and stable home. But the legislature is working on a suite of solutions, including reforming condominium liability rules, an issue that I'm proud to be leading. Condos have traditionally been an important part of the housing market, an opportunity for first-time home buyers to start building equity, and an option for seniors who are looking to downsize but stay near their community that they know and love. Unfortunately, there just aren't enough condos available. In the 1990s, there was a whole rash of condominium construction that was not of high quality. And so we as a legislature responded and instituted some very strong condominium liability laws. In order to increase the number of affordable condos being built, I'm sponsoring legislation to reform the way that condo liability works. I believe that the legislation that I'm sponsoring threads the needle between maintaining protections for consumers and incentivizing affordable condominiums. A study done by the University of Washington found that resolving liability could increase the number of entry and mid-level condos being built. For a teacher, a healthcare worker, a grocery store clerk, buying a single family house near their job in downtown Bellevue, for instance, is just not feasible. But increasing the stock of affordable condos give these hardworking people the best chance to afford to live in the communities they serve. While providing affordable housing for middle and low-income families is absolutely essential for the long-term stability of our region, we also need to make sure that people who are currently homeless are getting the services and support they need to be safe and to thrive. As the Chair of the Human Services and Early Learning Committee, I focus on the impacts of homelessness on young children and on teens. Early childhood is a critical time in a person's life. A child's brain is building its foundation. Trauma, instability, and other adverse experiences at this age have lifelong consequences for mental health, well-being, and future success. Kids who experience homelessness tend to be the most behind when they start kindergarten and many never catch up with their peers. I'm working to ensure that even if housing isn't stable for young children, there are other things that remain stable, like access to quality childcare. Addressing housing affordability and homelessness isn't an issue that can be resolved by the legislature alone. Building housing and making it affordable and accessible is going to take collaboration and partnership between the state, local governments, and private business. Fortunately, we have great businesses to partner with that are already doing this work. I applaud Microsoft's recent announcement that they'll be contributing $500 million to build affordable housing on the east side. This investment will make a big difference. A home lays the foundation for so many opportunities, and having stable housing can change the trajectory of a person's life. It's shameful that in one of the wealthiest regions in the world, there are people who don't know where they're going to sleep tonight. Until every child, senior, and adult have a safe place to sleep each night, I'll continue to make this a priority. Thank you.